Endometriosis is a very common disease. In the infertility patient population, it's anywhere from 10 to 12 percent. Some of the typical symptoms that patients have, in addition to infertility, is some subtle clues that when you ask a history, you can tease these out. One is progressive dysmenorrhea, meaning the, their cramps have gotten worse over time. Beginning in your 20s, 30s, your cramps have gotten worse. That's a clue for endometriosis. Other clues are pain with intercourse, pain with bowel movements, pain when your bladder is full or when you empty your bladder. Another way sometimes endometriosis is diagnosed is on ultrasound. You see a collection of endometriosis within the ovary called an endometrioma. These endometriomas are frequently removed um, at the time of laparoscopy, but the problem is if you're not an experienced surgeon, the problem of peeling the endometriosis off of the ovary and saving as much ovary as possible can be problematic. There's been a new profession called uh, minimally invasive surgery, which is a fellowship that is one to two years that's focused just on surgery. Some of these people have training in endometriosis, but not all, and not all have the fertility emphasis. So it's a little difficult to just go by the title in order to figure out who's an endometriosis surgeon. As a patient, you need to ask some core questions of how the physician operates, what percentage of their practice is endometriosis surgery, do they keep their own statistics on outcome. There's been some new techniques in the last few years of how to treat endometriosis to get better long-term results, and this concept is called peritoneal resection. What's done is instead of the classic way of taking cautery and just cauterizing individual implants, you do a surgery where you actually remove the peritoneum, which is like the skin that covers the pelvis that has the endometriosis in it. And by removing that peritoneum, new peritoneum regenerates in about two, three days free of disease. So the long-term pain relief for patients followed out five years or greater is over 85% will be pain-free or pain-controlled. So it gives them a much more permanent cure in addition, we've looked at these patients as far as fertility, and what we see is that patients get pregnant very quickly after resection with, per with peritoneal resection. They'll get pregnant in the first six months, typically, after resection, and then it starts to taper off, and those patients that will get pregnant usually are by a year.